Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. We'll start that again. <coughs> Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video we are talking about my project polish. So I didn't do an update in February because there wasn't much to update and there's not really much to update now either. Um, I do have three of the colours that are in my project uh, on my fingers here and I'll show you those. The first one of those is this Revolution uh, nail polish in the shade Seduce. That is what I have on my pinky, my middle finger and my thumb. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, as I explained in the intro, I had to depot or decant uh, the uh, original um, from the original bottle into this one because I broke the original bottle uh, when it was brand new. So um, I do really like this. Um, it's not chipped and I've had it on for two days now. Um, whereas you can see some chipping going on there. Um, that's a different colour. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but it's not really chipped, so it's wearing really well. I like the colour. I like the application, although, to be fair, this is not in the original bottle. Um, but it had two coats and went on really nicely and opaquely. So I'm really liking this, um, but I've only used it once. Uh, same with this one. This is what is on my ring finger. So this is the Avon uh, Mark uh, Mineral Crush nail polish in the shade Pearl. It is absolutely jam-packed with um, glitters. There's larger glitters, tiny glitters, lots and lots of glitter in this one. But as I say, I just used it on my ring finger. So not much happening in there, but we were already down to here anyway. So uh, we already had some good usage on this anyway. On my uh, pointy finger, we had this mini nails ink in... Uh, St. Anne's Lane. This was previously in a project pan and that's how far I got there but now we are here where this line is um, so yeah we're just slightly below where I ended up in when I had it in a project pan. I think it was in my fall for you project pan at the end of 2020 so yeah it's had some usage. Um, I believe I wore this um, in another manicure, um, uh, and then also with this manicure as well. So I've used it twice, uh, since the intro. Um, so yeah, but not much difference in that one. So moving on from there, I'm just going to show you the ones that I haven't used at all. Um, and that is the Leighton Denny in uh, Bon Voyage. Haven't used this one at all. Still exactly where it was before. Um, did I use you? I think I did. I think that was the only one I haven't used. Um, I used the Ciate Mini in What the Shell once. Um, I used the OPI um, this one doesn't have a shade name on the bottom, but I believe it's something to do with Miss Piggy from the Muppets. Um, so we are now down to here, um, which is really, really good. And I really want to concentrate on this one for March and try and finish it up and get it out by the end of March. So look out for this one. This is going to be a focus for the next month. Um... I wore my L'Oreal red one. Uh, we are now currently down to here. This is in the shade uh, Rouge Pinup. Um, I wore this with uh, the gold that is in my six by spring, I wanna say. Is it in the six by spring one? Um, and I really, really enjoyed the uh, nail polish look that I created with that one. I kind of did half and half on each nail. So I um, 
I basically did half of the nail in red and then the other half of the nail in gold and it looked really funky. Uh, so I was very pleased with that. Um, so I'll probably do that look again. Um, I need to start remembering to take pictures. Um, if I don't put pictures up in this video, I will link my Instagram for you down below. So I generally tend to put my nail polish looks on there. Um, so yeah, um, but I did wear that one. Um, this one, did I wear this one? I can't remember if I wore this one or not. This is the French Connection. There's, <sighs> needs shaking up, so I don't think I did use it. I don't think I did. So this is another one that uh, didn't get used. So these two, I don't think got used. Um, this one, this uh, Ciate Mini, this is in the shade Starstruck and I had to use thinner to try and thin this out. It's still pretty thick and gloopy, um, but I think what the problem is, is not that it's gone gloopy, it's just that this is so packed with um, glitters, very, very similar to this one. So I might end up having the same problem with this one. It is so packed with glitters that I think the problem is that I've used up all of the, most of the like base nail polish that all I'm left with is kind of like the glitters. So that's why it's gone thick. Um, so I might end up having to add this or add some clear nail polish to this to try and help it out or just call it quits because I'm right down at the bottom here. You can see where the line is. I'm right down to there. So I am practically finished this. So what I don't want to be doing is adding more product to it because it will just end up going on forever. And I don't need that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more manicure with this and just see how it goes. Um, it is getting to the point where I am literally having to put the lid on, screw it closed, shake it up for each nail that I apply. And I am not about that life. I am not about that at all. So if that is kind of the case um, for the next manicure that I do, um, I may just call this quits. So that one is definitely going to be finished by the next update. And then the next one I literally just put into this project polish because it was in my, my three of a kind project. Um, and I realized that it had gone gloopy on me and thick. This is the uh, Jelly High Shine from Barry M in the shade Banana Split. Beautiful, beautiful color, but has gone really thick and gloopy on me. And um, so I need to add thinner to this. So it's in my project polish just to give it another chance. Um, see if a bit of nail thinner can help it out. If it does, then great. I will continue to try and use this up because obviously once it's turned thick and gloopy, um, I'm going to add thinner to try and help it out. But I also want to make sure that I use it fairly quickly um, because I don't want to just put it back into my collection and allow it to go thick and gloopy again. Do you know what I mean? So it is definitely on the chopping block. It needs to work or it's going to just be decluttered um, no matter how much I've used of it. Um, it is currently down to here. Uh, you can see where the line is there. So yeah that's that one i haven't actually used it since i used it in my three of a kind project so yeah that's that one the one that has obviously had the most usage is the base coat that i put in this is the essence all-in-one ridge filler uh we are down to here can you see that you can just about see it on this side so we're down to here i think we were above the essence lettering here last time so we have definitely come down a bit more um i don't find that this does completely get rid of the ridges in my nails 
um, I know that this finger is particularly bad with ridges um, it doesn't completely get rid of them but it does make them a little smoother so that um, my nail polish applies a little a little nicer because when you have ridges on your nails um, it can kind of leave patches in your nail polish so yeah I mean I like it it's nice um, so yeah uh, so that is the update I've had no empties and there's nothing here that's had an immense lot of use I will say that in February I didn't wear polish much at all I think maybe once a week I changed my nail polish which is not a lot um and I don't think to be honest I think I introduced this late January so uh, since the start of the project I haven't really changed up my nail polish enough really um, that I'm I'm happy with um, I've enjoyed the manicures that I've created using these nail polishes so I'm quite happy with that um, but um, I've definitely not <coughs> been focused on using any of these up so what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna get a bath I'm going to take my nail polish off. I'm going to do a hand mask situation thingy thing. Um, and uh, and then I'm going to do another manicure. And I'm going to try and aim uh, throughout the month of March to be changing up my manicure at least twice a week. Um, and then hopefully we will get some progress. Um, as I say, I do think that the mini uh, Ciate in Starstruck will be finished and I'm going to plan and hope on getting the little mini OPI finished. So those are my two goals for uh, March to finish. And then um, because you won't see an update for this until April, because I'm going to do the updates for Project Polish on a bi-monthly basis rather than a monthly basis um, I think as I say I'm gonna work on these two for the month of March and then I think I'm going to work on the pinks for April so hopefully in April I should have two possibly three empties um, which would be awesome if I could do that so put all of these back in So these are all my project polishes. Um, hopefully next time you see an update on this, I will have some empties and I can bring in some new polishes to play with. So yes, um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.